Some time ago, sadly, I went off sausages. The supermarket sausages I was getting, was getting were horrible. They were tasteless. It was hard to tell the difference between the chicken sausages and the beef sausages. And they were sort of yicky, yucky. And um, so I thought, no, no sausages for me. And then I happened to be walking past a lovely butcher shop, which replaced a butcher shop that burnt down on Jetty Road at Glenelg. And I saw these beautiful sausages in the window, and they're the best sausages I've ever had. Um, beef, or steak, uh, chilli and cheese. And when I went in, there were two lady butchers there, one of whom, I think, is Amanda James from SA Gourmet Meats. Hello, Amanda. Hello. How are you, Peter? Thank, Thank you. you very much. Do you work at the Glenelg shop? I certainly do, and it's a, it's a wonderful place to be. It is. And when I was there, I said, oh, I think, because I have never seen Lady Butchers, Amanda. <laughs> and I said, Lady Butchers, how wonderful. And you said, yes, there's a man who works here, and we're trying to get rid of him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wouldn't go that far. He's a wonderful boss and nice to look at. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you become a butcher? Oh, uh, look, it was just things just go that way you know mm -hmm. you start doing a bit of customer service work and then mm -hmm. you find the, the place that you, makes you happy mm -hmm. um there's not many butcher shops i've never been in that aren't a happy place They're no that's lucky. true yeah you know we're always cracking jokes and mm -hmm. having fun and yeah it's a, it's a great place to work well butchers you know as you say they've always got a joke and they often have a twinkle in their eye <laughs> i think it's hard to know why but it's, it's, it's always been thus um yeah. But did you do an apprenticeship, Amanda? Look, I've got to be honest with you, Peter. I, I haven't actually got my papers in the book oh, world. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, um, you know, um, I can do pretty much anything he can do, I can do. <laughs> I won't say better. Yes. But, um, you know, yeah, it's not rocket science, but, you know, it does make a difference if you work with a really good team. Yes. And we can all pretty much substitute. Pretty much all of us can do whatever is needed. Um, it can be it can be heavy work, Amanda. It can be, and mm. my shoulders and feet and knees are starting to tell me that story. Sure, I mean when you you're know, heaving I'm... sides of beef in. So. <laughs> <laughs> so when you're when you're the wrong side of fifty, but you know it's it's good work. It, it saves me money at the gym, doesn't it? So, so you were working in a butcher shop, and you thought I can do this. Oh, for sure. Mm. Like it. It started like I worked in the Orange Lane Market years ago. And it's oh, I miss that to this day. What, what did you do there, Amanda? I oh, went on the barbecue store with Pam and Ian. Oh, they're wonderful. They live on Kangaroo Island now. Yeah, they do. They're rippers. That was the. You remember they had that? You could get sausages in those on beautiful. The market burgers and yes, sausages. they were beautiful. Yeah, they were fantastic, and they did a roaring trade, and it was great a great atmosphere that Stanley missed. Mm. But, you know, and you go from that kind of customer service to working at, I was at the Central Market for a while, and a butcher shop there, and I... Yeah, it's not Tony's. No, 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 I do love Tony, though, he's a ripper. The famous um, butcher. It was mm. feast, so Richard Gunner was in charge of all that. Yes. But um, I met the boy that I'm working for now mm. at that store at the market, so... It's a, a long history. So he was a, a young lad when I met him, and now he's a fully fledged man with a mm. child and a beautiful wife. So it's it's just been it's like a family atmosphere, you know. We all mm. care about each other. And and it's a it's a great team. Are there uh, how many lady butchers are there, Amanda? Oh, look, every store should have a few girls working yes. at least. Yeah. You know, we bring a lot to the table. It's a very mm. male industry. It is. And, mm. You know, there's a school around the corner. A lot of mums come in. Oh, what are we having for dinner tonight? And, mm. You know, I've been there, done that, raised yes, two kids. Yes. One of which you interviewed a couple of years ago. Her name's Magenta. Yes. And uh, she. And what um, did she do? She was talking to you about the comedy capers. And you said, oh, with the nuts. guides. Yeah, with the guy, with the, the scouts. Scouts, yeah. yes. And now she's doing more theatre work, but with the Adelaide Law Review because she's oh. doing more Adelaide Uni. So oh, good on her. Mm. It's going a long way. You well, see a lot of people trained in, in, in the gang shows and comedy capers. Comedy yeah. capers is at Elizabeth, isn't it? The Shedley? Yeah, yeah, mm. the Shedley. Yeah, I think yeah, I saw yeah. a rehearsal of that at um, yeah, right. the Salisbury Institute, I think. Yeah, mm. that's where it was. That's, yeah, that's fantastic. Right. Mm. Brilliant stuff. Good on that. Into, you know. I'm glad yeah, they're having yeah. a law review. Yeah. I've oh, had one for years. The little theatre. Yes, the little cool. theater. Mm. Brilliant. Mm. So, uh, yeah. You got all your fingers, Amanda? I 
do, oh, I've had a few stitches. <laughs> mm, I bet. And oh, the slice has got me one day for 10 stitches. But, oh, you know. wow, 10. Um, oh. Was she named, your daughter named after Rocky Horror's Magenta? Absolutely. Wow. Was, you, were, you were the narrator. I was. It was one of the highlights of my life. And oh, they have, well, tell your daughter they have, I think it's coming up in, well, whenever there's a Friday the 13th, they have the movie. Oh, yeah, the Capri? At the Capri, yes. Yeah, she's been to a few of those. And I've been hosting it lately. I love that. Now, oh, Rocky God. Horror people are the best. Yeah, yes. yeah, I'm with you 100%. Yeah. Well, that showed yeah. good taste, and name it a name <laughs> of Did you go to the Chelsea to see it? Um, oh, God, I can't remember where right, I was. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Um, and you've, but how many other lady butchers are in that shop at Glenelg? In that shop at the moment, would you believe we're outnumbering the boys? Really? So we've got Betty, we've got Erin, and we're just, everyone's dynamic and fun, and, you know, the boys have to watch their step because, really, we're in control. <laughs> but, yeah, no, it's, it's fantastic. It's just so good. And we bring, you know, a bit of woman's touch, if you are. That might be quoting Calamity Jane, mm. the woman's touch song. But, um, yes. yeah, the, I think it's desperately needed that girls are in butcher shops. So you're not a vegetarian, Amanda. Oh, my God, no, don't say that. <laughs> oh, they're everywhere. Oh, they're they're everywhere. everywhere. And they're eating yeah. not bacon and not... You know, oh, mm, uh, stop it. I know. If it's not bacon if it's not bacon. I had um, <laughs> lamb chops last night, but I had the middle no, loin lamb chops, but I cut the oh, fat they're off. they're special at the moment. They no, are, they? Are, they are, $21.99. I prefer the French cutlets because the fat's oh, cut off. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, That's what um, the doctor likes. <laughs> what are the popular <laughs> sellers, Amanda? Oh, look, loin chops are very, very popular. Mm. But we do have a range of burgers that are very popular. Mm. Um Butterfly chickens that are marinated are fabulous on the Weber. Mm. I'm a bit of a Weber freak myself. Yeah. Love cooking over the charcoal. <laughs> but, um, yeah, look, there's everything you can name. Mm. We sell fish as well. I had beautiful barramundi for dinner tonight, lucky me. Lovely. But, yeah, it's it's just, there's a cesspool of choice in our little shop. And how many, if they go my meats, how many shops do you have? We have eight stores now. Wow. Across the across the, uh, the state or, or town, mm. um, ranging from McGill to Unley to um, a new store down in Woodcroft, uh, mm. Marden. And do you, the sausages, the steak, chilli and cheese sausages, which mm -hmm. I, I've never had a better sausage, Amanda, oh, where are made, they made? I'm a bit of a connoisseur of sausages, I am. Mm. But, yeah, they're made, all the sausages are made at our Marden store. Our big boss, Ben Gordon, makes all the sausages. Yes. And... Um, yeah, that's a fairly new one on the list, and it's been very popular. Can you make sausages? I can tie them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to see them being made, of course. No, no we don't have a sausage press at our <laughs> shop, so you'll no. never have to witness that. No. But if you do go to Martin, you could get a little masterclass if you wanted. Uh, and should you uh, prick sausages when you're cooking them or I'm not? I'm not a pricker. No, no. No, I don't think you should. I think because our sausages aren't full of fat, you don't need to. Yes. I, I think, think so. it's only those ones that blow up, like little balloons that need a bit of pressure release, and it's because they're full of rubbish. Yes. So there's proof in the pudding. Indeed, Amanda. Well, <laughs> and are you hearing from other lady butchers who are training, you know, through apprenticeships, that they're, you know, what, what percentage of butchers are female? Look, I think it's increasing, but I think it's still a hard road for them to, to choose that path because mm. it's so... It is a blokey kind of... Yes. It's still that sort of 1950s blokey kind of yes. um, job, majority-wise, like, mainly. Yeah. I'm in a lucky position. I've got, you know, a really sort of now team. Yep. Um, but, yeah, oh, look, I, I hope there's more and more of yes. it coming on. Well, I we think do there will be. To employ girls and young kids as well from the schools around the corner. We get them in doing the dishes and they're training them up and it's it's a great mm. community thing of course you know, a lot of the, you know young kids around the area start off with us and then they get the confidence to go and get other jobs so yep. Yep. it's just i don't know glenelg's a great community it's it is so. it's uh, really and there's still a lot of small shops there uh, yeah, there's such as yours street, yes. You know? yes there's not many high streets left like this no, and it's getting up caruso's mm. and the boozer and yes. the baker and you yeah. don't have to go anywhere near a supermarket, which is lovely. Um, and you know you're supporting local families. Someone's, uh, Deb from Warrador is asking, uh, 
do you sell tripe? I believe we, we, well, we definitely can probably get it in. Mm. You've just got to go and ask the manager to Hard get it in. to and get. And what is tripe? I think it's the, the lining of a it's sheet. The stomach, style, yes. Isn't it? Something um, my grandmother used to make a yes, thing. I know. So I've, I couldn't do without it, but a lot of people, including Deb, loves it. I do like well, brains, lamb I'm brains. Like, yeah, look, I'd go a brain. Yeah, I love it's brains. Brain, very 70s. Yeah, oh, I love it. I've never been poor sweet those, but they yeah. are tasty. With a white sauce, beautiful. Oh, nice. Beautiful. <laughs> Amanda, you're hilarious, and I wish you well, and <laughs> all lady you know, butchers and all butchers. I'll be back on Friday morning. <laughs> I'm in love with it. Be yourself. <laughs> Thank you, Amanda, and uh, good, good luck to you. And good luck to Magenta. Isn't it marvellous to be... She had another daughter she could call her Columbia, named for the, the two maids in the Rocky Horror Show. Mmm. <laughs> I know um, my friend Samuel loves tripe and onions. I, it's been a long time since I've had tripe. And I had a dear friend who used to make me crumbed brains, which was, were beautiful. Mmm. <laughs>